So it'll take me a little uh, bit of time to get this splint sorted. You're not in a rush, don't need to go anyway. No. Good. Um, so the splint will basically be something that's going to rest on the back of your arm and have some Velcro straps that are actually going to attach to it there. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a second part of the splint that sits on the inside of your hand. Um, then there'll be a couple of little Velcro straps that stick down and basically the concept is that the splint will stretch your wrist backwards. You'll be able to adjust where that pressure is. So you, if it's feeling good one day, you can stretch it a little bit further. Yep. If it's a bit swollen, a bit flared up and it uh, doesn't like the pressure, then you can ease it off as well. Okay? okay. So it'll be something you can well and truly control, the amount of pressure that's on it. Um, and it's vital that you do that. Don't just say, oh, Pierce, put it down to this point. I must get it down to there. Yep. You have to take control of how much pressure you put on it. Okay. Um, we'll see how it goes working the other way as well. Sometimes we can get it to put a position that you can actually pull the straps the other way and it works okay there. We'll see how it goes, but we'll primarily focus on that extension. And with wrist extension in general function, that tends to be the more important thing. We do majority of our occupations with our wrist backwards and actually stretch backwards to grip things. Yeah. Uh, people reaching around the back of the fridge sometimes need to do that. But, uh, <laughs> you're not a fridge mechanic, are you? Or plumber, or whatever they're called. No? Righto. So I'm just going to take a few moments. I just need to cut out some plastic, and then I'll mould it onto your arm. I'll explain what we're doing while we're doing it, but um, just cut the plastic out. Is that okay? Yep. So I'm just going to roll back this top section and make sure that your wrist is completely uh, clear, so that means that the movement can occur. Yep. Um, also, there's a bit of a bone on the back of your wrist there, your ulnar styloid, that will just keep clear, because sometimes these splints can rub on there. It's not too hot, is it? No, that's fine. Great. Right, so I'll just let that set. It's pretty easy for it to mould itself pretty much this one. Yep. So the next section will be under here. And then, like I mentioned before, that this uh, will have some Velcro straps on there. We'll pull it, stick it on, and hopefully that will get your wrist moving a little bit further. A bit more on that side? Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Just quickly tie those knots off there. And like I said before, these are all adjustable. So yep. in the future, we'll hopefully be able to get these a little bit shorter and shorter. And then um, that shows that your wrist is moving. Right, so if you could now put them back into position to where it's comfortable. So do I do it with my arm like this? Yeah, so the key is to get your wrist as far back as comfortable and then place the pressure down. And you've got a lot of leeway with that Velcro to where you go to. Cool, so I'll just have a look. So there, what's that feel like to your wrist? Yeah, it feels okay. Do you feel any stretch at all? Probably not. No, nope. so that means we go just a touch further. So these can go. Yeah, I can feel stretch now. Just down to there. Yep. And that's where it'll hold your wrist back. Okay? Yep. So the pressure in terms of what you hopefully are feeling is something along here, is that right? Yeah, yep. Yep. And what, uh, are you feeling any pain? No, I can feel it here as well. Yep. Yep. Okay. So with that in terms of, um, the pressure of how the splint is putting into your wrist, it does sort of compress it a little bit as well. So it's something that you need to definitely be aware of in terms of pain and all those type of things that I mentioned before. Yeah. We definitely do not want any pain going through your wrist when you're doing this.